Beyond Light is here. And what could be more Beyond Light than a grenade launcher that shoots stasis? Salvation's grip is that exact thing, so let's find out how to get it. Spoilers, it's not really that complex, but we're going to review it anyway. Note that you need Salvation's Grip in order to get your Stasis Aspect abilities, which you can start to get after doing a portion of the Born in Darkness quest line. So this is something you actually should prioritize getting. The first thing you're going to need to do is complete the campaign. That should be a given. You absolutely must do this first. You're going to find the Drifter in the same location as he was pre-expansion in the tower and pick up the quest. The first step is to kill 10 captains and 10 servitors on Europa. Captains are pretty much scattered in a whole bunch of places, but servitors not as much. However, I will encourage you to do this step alongside the post-campaign campaign because you'll need to complete the three to four missions that Varix has after the campaign is over as a quest step for this exotic which will take you a little bit of time to do. I would also grab and start completing Varix bounties but do not turn them in just yet as you'll need to turn them in for part of a Varix post campaign quest step. As for doing the post campaign talk to Varix and do the Sabotaging Salvation mission. I would advise getting a few extra levels on yourself before taking on some of these post-campaign missions. You might need them given the feedback that I've seen about boss fights in Beyond Light as of the first day. You will then get Empire's Fall after that, which requires you to do two sabotage quests from Varix. One of them is to do eight bounties from Varix, and the other is to just defeat combatants on Europa. A little bit easier said than done, considering a lot of the bounties you'll be doing for Varix are the repeatable ones, so you might need to make multiple trips. After Empire's Fall, you will receive the Aftermath mission, which is an 1180 mission. You're going to go do that next. The final post-campaign quest is the Dark Priestess. You'll have a couple of short things to do before the mission itself, including finding Flex of Darkness and then freeing the Skiff ship in the Eventide Ruins, and then you will have the mission. A warning for the mission. This boss is harder than the final boss in the campaign, in my opinion. So if you have not been leveling somewhat aggressively, I would exercise some caution here. I basically did no extra leveling. I did every boss under leveled and this one definitely required the most amount of patience. Anyway, after you have completed the post campaign from Varix, if you still have not killed 10 captains and 10 servitors by now, I would go make sure that that is complete because that's literally the step that you have to do. You don't really have a choice. The public event in the Eventide Ruins with the Giant Servitor can net you some fast Servitor kills, or you can go to the Concealed Void Law Sector, which is in the Asterian Abyss. Just keep in mind that it is a 12-10 power lost sector. The next step after the 10 Captains and 10 Servitors is to get 100 Stasis kills. This can be done anywhere. It does not have to be on Europa. People have recommended Blindwell on the Dreaming City, but if you don't have Forsaken, uh, most people can just get away with going to the EDZ, grabbing some rally flags, burning their super in a lost sector somewhere, and then finding another flag until you have 100% completion on this step. Next, you're going to the Asterian Abyss Lost Sector and clearing that whole thing out. Again, it is 1210 power, so go get some levels if you need them. Next, you're going to talk to the Drifter, who will send you on the Stealing Stasis mission. I'm not going to spoil any of this mission, but I want you to know that depending on how you feel about a certain character in the game, this will be one of the best or one of the worst missions you have ever played. The mission itself isn't too tough. You'll see what I mean. For me, it was among the best. About halfway through the mission, you will get Salvation's Grip. This is a grenade launcher that shoots stasis. If you can imagine a grenade launcher that shoots stasis, uh, you nailed it. You got it. That's exactly what this is. You can shoot little chunks of ice 
or if you hold down the trigger and charge it, you can release a bigger wall of stasis. You'll get to use the weapon for the rest of the mission, and there will be a bunch of heavy ammo for you to use once you get outside, so go nuts. And that is how you get Salvation's Grip. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.